Hi guys, welcome everyone. Uh, this is the first video in 2020, it's the new year, so I hope uh, that more content will be available for me in this year. I hope that I will have more time to film. Um, in this video I would like to cover a topic uh, that has also came across a lot of times uh, in my uh, teachings and a lot of students actually uh, don't know how to answer when I ask a very simple question and that is um, how is your day? So talking about your daily routine, especially when you are an employee, especially when you have a very busy day and you have a lot of dynamics during the day, can be very, uh, you know, daunting for uh, for a lot of students. This can serve you in many uh, different situations, not to mention on tests like TOEIC and IELTS and TOEFL, uh, but also when you work abroad, when you're in a new setting, um, or when you're welcoming a new colleague, if you have a job interview, a lot of the times people will ask you how was your day or what did you do today? Um, my students uh, usually answer with a very simple sentence, which is the last thing that they did. I just came home from work, <laughs> which is of course true, but it is not enough. A lot of subtle things are involved uh, in this very simple question when you talk about your day. Uh, so I'm going to give you an example. So um, you can you can say a lot about yourself and the way that you feel uh, in this particular uh, period in your life by describing your day. You can say I woke up really early, which is very hard for me uh, because I have to uh, you know stay up late because I have a young um, child that I have to take care of, for example, or. Um, you can say, I slept in uh, today uh, because I worked a lot yesterday and I got to give myself a little time to sleep. Um, then you can say, how do you get to work? Do you go by car? Do you go by bicycle? Do you uh, use a public transportation? In the case of my students, it's usually a train. So I hopped up on the train and um, I listened to a podcast or I listened to a daily news. And when I came to work, I made myself coffee. I opened um, emails. I checked uh, how many meetings do I have that day. Um, and I had a very exciting client, then you can say what was the highlight of your day. I had a very exciting client today, he came all the way from South Africa, for example, and um, we discussed uh, our sales, for example. And then you can say, uh, after that I went to lunch with a very good colleague of mine, I usually do that, we have an Italian restaurant across the street, um, and that is very exciting, so maybe you can say something about the the colleague, uh, she uh, has a new uh, project that she's working on, so I helped her out a little bit. And then uh, you can wind down and talk a little bit more how your day ended. So um, in the last part of your, your explanation, you can say, um, I wrapped up my uh, stuff at work and um, I headed back home. I also used the train to go back and I needed to be at home by 5 p.m. because uh, we had a family dinner. So this is just an example of how um, detailed your answer should be. So you shouldn't give too much details. For example, you shouldn't give you know the names of the projects or you should go very much into detail what you had for lunch, but just kind of the, the daily overview should be there. So what did you do from morning till evening? It should be maybe like two minutes long of an explanation, so not too uh, short, not too long. Um, so you don't want to, you know, overburden the person who is listening. You don't want to TMI, give too much information. Uh, you just want to be, um, you know, precise and concrete, uh, but open for further conversation. If you're somebody who's working from home or if you're somebody who is at home as a uh, stay-at-home mom or you're currently looking for a job, then your uh, description of your day or the daily routine can be a little bit more interesting because uh, you know each day is different for you. 
you can talk a little bit more about what did you do in the morning and then in the noon period uh, around 12 o'clock and then in the afternoon especially for tests um, you don't want to say you know I currently don't have a job and I sleep until you know 2 a 2 p.m. and um, then I eat my first meal I mean it, although that is a routine for some people and that is perfectly okay but for uh, you know uh, for making a conversation you have to give a little bit more of information so um, then just pick a day where you had something interesting to share um, and then try to talk about that one in some countries for example in America when somebody asks you um, hey how was your day um, you can answer oh it's fine I'm doing fine or something like that it's a very short answer it's a very short question so this is not for those situations where you, you're just passing by somebody and somebody asks you how was your day this is more about when you need to make a conversation uh, with somebody that is uh, longer or in the test when the interviewer will ask you hey um, how was your day can you tell me more about what did you do today um, so I'm to be more specific I'm talking about these situations okay and to wrap this up I um, I'm looking forward to this year um, I'm looking forward to thinking about new topics and I'm looking forward to speaking with more students and meeting uh, more of the people who want to study English and want to make their conversations better I know that a lot of you have worked hard uh, even during the holidays, um, you have studied English. If you had uh, a little bit of a break, that's also great. Holidays are for, for that as well. So then uh, you should maybe make a plan on, on how are you going to study this year and what are your goals when it comes to English studies. Bye bye. I will see you in the next one.